I'm out here with my beautiful, amazing chef daughters, Isabella and Sophia. Hey. Got lots of beautiful herbs here for our food, for our dinner tonight. Hey guys, it's Izzy and Sophia, and we're Cook Out Loud. And today we have our mom, the creator of the cha channel. Hi, I'm Danielle Sergi, and today we're going to teach you a really fun technique that you can put in the oven. You can also put in a pizza oven. It's using a steaming method called en papillote in French, which is in parchment paper, or al partoccio in Italian. So we've preheated our oven to 350 degrees, and my girls, as you know, are amazing cooks. We're, they've been helping me with this technique since they each were three. We are drying half of a heart here. Yeah. And so you're just using parchment paper, not wax paper, but parchment paper. All right. So what we end up with, put this in the trash, yeah. is a heart, of course. Okay. We end up with this beautiful heart. So this is something fun you could do, like for someone you care about because it's loving. But everybody ends up getting their own little mm -hmm. parchment packet. Some really fun stuff from our garden today. We're using some fresh green onions. We made a pesto earlier with our African basil. We're spraying it so the food doesn't stick and it's going to puff up and so steam on up. The inside? Yep. So just all over. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. And just remember, okay. your drawing does not have to be perfect. Um, it does you want not. it kind of wide like this. Mm -hmm. Yep. But you want it to be like a fat, chunky like a heart. Fat, chunky heart. Okay. We have it sprayed on the inside, and we're going to set it aside. And a couple carrots that we've peeled. Okay, I'm going to shorten these so that it's a little easier to work with. So we cut and get a flat end because that's always safer to cut with a flat end down. You can do little matchsticks if you want to get more precise. You want your cut up pieces to be similar sizes so that they cook at the same time, right? I'm a big advocate of kids. Obviously, they're so capable. Get them in the kitchen with you. Okay. You've both been cooking since you were two, two at least. So anyway, we're doing a, a yellow squash because they're in season. Again, I'm getting that flat edge so I don't cut myself. And we're going to just do thin strips because we want them thin. We want them to cook at the same time. Put our squash in and you can use whatever squash you're growing or is at your local farm stand. Um, and yeah, we have so much fresh produce in Southern California. We love to use fresh produce always. I'm going to show you how to do one and then Isabella is going to do the rest. But we're just taking the husk off of our corn. You can take a towel and just wipe it like this and it kind of helps get some of those loose pieces off. I likes to clean up, so if anything on the floor, she'll be happy, okay? And so she's our clean up crew. She's our clean up crew. Corn rest. Thank you. Awesome. You gals are on top of it. Yep. So we've got our okay. corn. Okay. We're basically making a little assembly line here. We can cut the green onions. These are from our garden. They're really pretty. So onions constantly regrow as so many herbs do. They're delicious. And they just keep growing. In Southern California, they grow all year, which yeah. is fabulous. We're yeah. so lucky. I'm gonna take out just a red potato that I've taken any of the little, you know, bruises or marks off of. And we're cutting a couple rectangle pieces. We're using our flat end again, but we're, again, we're going for that same shape. So. We're, you're going to see how it's going to work out here. Essentially, this is what we're using. I'm setting this aside now. It smells amazing. Okay. It does smell amazing, huh? Isn't this beautiful? I mean, it's like a rainbow, rainbow. here. So we've got we our got carrots. Red, orange, we've yellow, got green. our summer squash. We've got yeah. our red, orange, yellow, green. And we have our fresh spring thyme. We're going to set the knife to the side so we don't have any casualties. Mama, Mama, I think it's the best new idea for what? our next video. What? We could do a rainbow I dinner. Oh, a rainbow dinner. We might Sorry. Do okay. At this point, it's all vegetarian. It's actually completely vegan. So if you're vegetarian or vegan at this point, go for it. So the main star, though, because we are doing chicken um, in papio or chicken al cartoccio, mm -hmm. we're going to pat our protein dry. So you always want to pat your protein dry, especially if you're searing it into a hot pan, which in this case we're not, but the rule of thumb is always pat your protein dry. You wash your hands. Izzy's going to put some salt on it all, and Sophia's going to pepper it. Okay, Wait, don't. I like salt, Izzy. Do you want to switch it I don't like okay. peppers. Well, that's, that's the way to be a team player. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to do my chicken, and then I will bleach my board and wash it super well. So we're dealing with about a pound and a half of chicken. Uh, 
Yeah, we grow an African basil. Sophia yeah. wanted to mention, you can use them for flowers too. Like mm -hmm. we use herbs, we use uh, mint. And, um, yeah, and who we got it from was our uncle Sadiq. Yeah. He's really into cooking too. Um, and, and, and he wait. also um, likes to plant. Yeah, gardens. And garden. And again, we're doing that same shape in the chicken. We're going to go into these thin little strips. I don't know if you guys are capable. These guys are really good at cutting and they know a lot of techniques. And so I encourage parents to get their kids in the kitchen when they're young. It's good for cognitive development. They learn spatial awareness. They learn critical thinking. I mean, if I was a champion for one thing to get your kids involved in at an early age, it would be cooking because they learn so much. And then even with math, the kids with fractions and scoring food and whatnot. Do you have my opinion on that? Um, I've been working in the kitchen my, basically my whole life, like yeah. a lot with fractions and stuff. And I was like, I was ahead of my, or I was ahead of my class when we started fractions and math. So. Again, we're taking one of our heart-shaped parchment papers, and now we have everything lined up. Okay, so we're gonna take a little bit of our pesto, and once I do this, I'm gonna have the girls do it after me. But we're gonna take about a tablespoon of pesto and drizzle it up the spine or the edge of the heart. Just right on the edge here. So Look right on the, the in the middle. The we're doing the carrots. So so far this is what it looks like. Just beautiful. I use the I mean, Italian that it's artistic. Flavor. And the kids are part There's Italian squash. on their the Sergi side. It's There's from Sicily. Squash, so okay. we'll squash. With our time, time, you know, you can use time. I'm gonna show you something here. You can do this and you can pull your time off like this and sprinkle it. Or you can just take the whole sprig and while it's steaming in its packet, you just remove the stick at the end. So they're both really fun techniques. We're going to take a little bit of corn, drop the corn in. That's our white. Our beautiful wow. fresh corn, our fresh green onions from our garden. If you have a vegetarian with your group, have everybody do their veggies first and then do the chicken at the very end so it doesn't cross contaminate. Okay? Take our chicken, a few pieces. I mean, what, however much you feel like eating, and you can write your initial on your packet with pencil on the outside so you know which is your packet. I'm going to take a little bit of this orange olive oil, and I'm drizzling a little bit extra on top. The full um, happy oat in paper, right? Okay, so we have all of our similar sized pieces of food. I reversed it, okay? You want to make sure the seam is on the edge and so everything is lined up, okay? Now, Without any air getting in, you're gonna do, just start to fold. So we do one little fold, and then another little fold, and then another little fold. And you want them kind of tight fold because you want a steaming effect, okay? So anyone can do this. So when you plate it, you take it out of the oven and you're just like, to your friends, a little gift, here's your package, and they open it up on their plate, and it's sort of a magical moment. Mm -hmm. But you can serve this with um, rice or couscous yeah, rice, or couscous. Um, brown rice is beautiful. Yeah. So yeah. you can see this beautiful heart packet here. Okay, and now at the very end, you're like, uh-oh, what do I do? Well, don't worry, I'm about to show you. You take the very end, and it smells amazing, right? This is dinner. This is an awesome way to get your kids to eat vegetables, okay? Because how, why would they not want to eat these amazing, beautiful, fresh veggies that they've helped prepare with dinner? You just twisted the end, or we call it the tail, okay? Now you have your package in. And I have parchment lined baking sheets, so I have a large one here. We're going to fit four packets on here, and we're going to fit the other two packets on the other sheet. Oh, we have the kids doing one. Izzy's starting. That's perfect. Now, now slither it down the, the spine here. And it's kind of like when you have a homemade pizza party and everybody gets to pick their toppings and make their own pizza. And I just did the meat, so now I'm gonna wash my hands. Perfect, awesome. Else. Yep, great technique. And carrots now. Carrots. Mm -hmm. Did you wanna do a piece of thyme? Mm -hmm. Do you wanna pull it off or do you wanna just add the whole sprig? I wanna pull it off. Pull it off, so you're gonna hold one end and then swoop it down. Looks good, oh. Mama? Yeah, yep, and do it a little bit tighter. So. We'll get in here, and it's great when you see some, the way you can improve, it just means it's awesome. So see, I'm just doing it about half that size. Okay, go can for I it. put one piece on Yeah, it? absolutely. Mm. And you know what, we'll write your name on it, so we'll know that one's for you. Where's the pencil? I'm going to put one more spoon. Oh. This is going wonderfully. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'm going to write a little S on it. Yeah. That looks awesome. We're going to rotate it. Okay, so we turn it around. You want to close it, okay? And really that first fold is really important to make sure 
See right here on this edge that that crosses over and that you don't have an open where air is getting in. So you make that first okay. crease. Look at the From there, line. you go about halfway into that line and make another fold. So let me just show them. That's like your second fold, okay? From there, you're gonna make one more. And make sure you get that nice, sharp crease. Okay, and I'm gonna make one more here. Now, if you don't like pesto, which some people don't, um, do whatever sauce you like. I mean, if you like hummus or you like olive oil, um, do whatever sauce you like. Just want some kind of flavor because we're not adding lots of unhealthy ingredients and you wanna add as much flavor as possible mm -hmm. so you enjoy eating it. And then the thyme. So this time I'm gonna load it up with some thyme for some more flavor. I think I got everything. This time. This time. I'm gonna do a little bit of, a little more olive oil because I like the orange olive oil. How about this one? Perfect. It's beautiful, yeah. And if you prefer other herbs, like a lot of people love sage, goes really well with chicken, then Wait, use Mama, sage. I wanna try it. Use whatever you're growing in your garden and use whatever's local. Okay, we're gonna make that first fold. Okay, I always like to have my elbows in when I'm cooking. When you're way out here, you have less control. Okay, I'm gonna keep folding. Unless you're short like us kids, then. Yeah. Well, then you get a stool. Then it's a little so now I'm at the end here, and I'm gonna turn my tail. And we have another beautiful packet. So, so we've got our four packets in parchment, and we're gonna make two more, and then throw them in the oven, and you're gonna see a magical result at the end. Okay, you're doing great. That's so good. Let's okay. get all that air out let's of it. Get the air out get and then let's twist the tail. Yeah, this is a great idea for just a simple, nice, fun dinner, especially to do with um with like kids, or you can invite a friend over or something and make it with them. Have a family, yeah, have family get together. You can use this technique for other food, like fish is really good steam. So you could do little thin strips of a hearty fish. Another fun thing to do is to take mangoes, cut up mangoes. With some caramel, you could just make some caramel or buy some and put some caramel oh, and then do the good. same technique and it steams it good. and it almost becomes oh, like a banana foster but with mangoes. That's perfect. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Plus we didn't cross contaminate our vegetables that don't have to be cooked. You could just turn it into a salad, which would be great too. But we're gonna take our chicken and put that in the fridge. We have six papillotes. But we have extra ingredients, so we kind of eyeballed it for this. You can find the exact recipe and modify it however you want. We're going to put these in the oven in the center rack at 350 degrees. We're going to let them cook for 20 minutes and then check them. If they're puffed up, they're ready. And they're all thin strips, so they're going to cook pretty fast. Okay. Give me a sec. I have to turn it off just real quick. Um, okay. So we're getting them into the oven, and we're going on this center rack. Okay, that's one oven. And then we're taking our second batch here. We're putting them on the center oven up above. Now, if you wanted to coincide and do dessert and dinner, you could do that mango dish I was talking about where you cut them into thin strips. You could add some fun, like a little cinnamon stick or whatever you want. You could do it with bananas and mangoes. Yeah. And um, we'll be back. We need some rice. We're just adding some butter. So Vivi's gonna stir it up. And then Izzy's gonna do like a couple really nice um, pinches of this garlic herb mixture. Yeah. You can use whatever dried herb mixture you want, but we like to flavor our rice. Today we just use water, but you can also use veggie stock or beef stock. It smells so good, I cannot. Okay, and we're gonna just take a spoonful of rice yeah. on our plates. You could do couscous, you could do pasta, uh, anything you have. These are starting to puff up, the ones in the back, and you can tell the ones that tight are sealed really tightly are puffing up better than other ones. Either way, they're still gonna be cooked. Now we're looking at garnishing. We're gonna set up a uh, a little assembly line oh, here. Don't your eyes, do not close and get squirted. We're gonna, oh, did that squirt you? No. no. Okay. I so I get we're gonna, do you mind getting a little ramekin? We're gonna yeah. put our lemon wedges. Some people like lemons with chicken, I do. And we have our plates ready. We have our rice ready that we just made. We garnish, we're just gonna pull a couple little pieces from here like so. I'm zooming in so you can see how the packets have puffed up beautifully. Packets are ready, steamed. We're going to set them on our stove here. Yep. While I get the other. And then 
So out of the six we did, we had one that didn't puff up, and that's pretty good. It's still cooked through. You can see they start to drop right away. We're going to okay. plate up four because it's for our dinner. Okay. So I'm going to show you a couple different ways you can do this. We take our plate. We're going to take one of our packets, which because it's parchment paper, it's not super hot. So I'm going to open up my little packet. I got mine. Okay. And you see that we've opened this up. Okay. So we have our beautiful paper. food that is just beautifully steamed. Or that looks good. And this one doesn't have chicken. Oh. I think someone forgot to put chicken, but that's oh, okay. That's sad. Okay. So what you can do is you can either open your packet and put your rice or your pasta right in it here, or you can spoon. I'm going to do the first one and then the girls are going to do it. We're just doing a couple little spoonfuls of rice here. Okay. And then I'm going to take our packet of food and just push it right out onto the rice. Okay. And so we have this gorgeous, yeah. So you can pull that you can remove the thyme sprig now. Or you can keep it. You in. can add a lemon wedge yeah. if you want, but yeah. basil is a garnish. No, I'm putting all. I'm, I'm putting the drizzle. cooked thyme in here. Oh, okay. Right. A little bit of. Um, you can add a little bit of citrusy olive oil on the top of our beautiful um, and papio with vegetables right here. And now we're going to show you the chicken. And the reason I want to specifically show you the chicken is because we're going to. So we have our packet. We're going to open it up. Yeah, Izzy's going to open it up. But I want to test the chicken just because I'm 99.9% .9 sure that it's 165. And um, you always get a little bit of carryover cooking once you take it out of the oven. But we're going to put this in the thickest part of the chicken. Okay, so we're just going to push it in like this. Okay. And make sure it gets up to 165. Now these are thin little strips, so I know they're cooked through but you want poultry at 165 or good, okay? So our chicken is beautifully cooked through. Okay, do you wanna do a little bit of rice or pasta? And you can make it, and then Sophia, you're gonna do yours, okay? So Sophia gets her plate. You can add some rice or pasta, Sophia, on yours. Yes, here is mine. Okay. And then I'm gonna give you a spatula to scrape off your pesto. I just pour it on right now. Like yeah, so just pour it on on the side or over the rice, and then you can take a spatula and scrape that little last bit of beautiful oh, pesto. And this one, garnish it, and then we'll show them. How easy was that? I mean, you just make. You can even prep this in advance, and then have friends come over and they all assemble their own. That's beautiful. You want to pull it, put it up for the camera so they can see that gorgeous food. There you go. Beautiful, it's going to be even more delicious. And it's healthy. It's very healthy. How do we do a little taste test, you guys? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it delicious? Oh my God. Oh my God. Can I so there's no cheese. I mean, it's like super healthy and just exploding with flavor. And she's seven. Sophia's seven. Isabella's 11. And they're eating oh, vegetables. Oh. Just a little bit of that orange olive oil and put your garnish and a little I lemon. Think, right? You can put a little lemon if you want that citrus oh, flavor. Delicious. Okay. And real quick, I'm going to scoot you to the left. I'm going to do one more. I'm just going to show you an alternate version. So we just have some elbow pasta. Couscous would be just lovely. But, I mean, say you have, like, pasta leftovers from Monday night supper. And you wanted to do this, use up the leftover pasta. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to take this packet. Open it up. Okay. Scoop it out. Onto our pasta. Can we wrap this up kind of quickly? Because this is delicious and I want to eat the whole thing. Okay, it is. Huh? I'm using all, right. all my night. Yeah, it smells so amazing. Um, okay, so there's our, we just put it over pasta. Look how gorgeous that looks. I mean, it's just beautiful. And you yeah. could top it with some Parmesan cheese if you want. I like a little lemon. I'm going to put a little lemon on my chicken. If this were fish, it would be just as delicious. There we have it. So this is our chicken and papillote mm -hmm. with whatever vegetables you have on hand with some pesto and any sauce that you have is appropriate whatever you have on hand so yeah. an italian chicken al cartoccio you or chicken and papillote yeah you should try it really much okay and so i want to get a little bit of all the flavors in it when i eat it i might want a little bit more olive oil i'm gonna try it okay 
And like cheese would be really good, huh? You could add mm, some cheese. Mmm, that's so good with the lemon and the um. Do you yeah. like it? Okay. I really like the carrots and the chicken. And, stuff. and the potato is cooked perfectly. If you thought the potato wasn't gonna cook through all oh, the way, and then you were oh. thinking that. Let's all take a bite together. Okay, we're all gonna try it. Now try to get a little bit of all the different flavors in one bite, because it's too good. Okay. All those beautiful flavors. All right, ready? Yeah. Set. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's delicious. It's so delicious. So, a lot of people think chicken is boring. Mm -hmm. This is one way to add lots of flavor, explosive flavor, but keep it super healthy. Mm -hmm. Alright? And this is a really good dinner. Meal. If your kids don't really like to, the dinner that you make, you should make this because this is a really good dinner. Or yeah. if you don't like vegetables. Cause yeah, get them to eat vegetables, food. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So for the whole recipe, you can go to cookoutloud.com. Make sure to like and subscribe and, or, and hit the bell button to mm -hmm. get a notification every time we post a new video. Hopefully mm -hmm. it'll be soon. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs> better than the so Wait, I don't think it's going. Oh, it, it is, is going. Better. Okay. Wait, what do you think it's better than? Um, the chicken pork loin that you make. Oh, it's, so when I like make the pork it's, tenderloin, it's like, she calls it the like chicken 100. pork loin? Yeah. Did you like when I do the pork tenderloin with bacon? Yeah. Okay. But this, this might be even this better. But this is a hundred times better. Whoa. That's better. And it's a hundred times healthier. That's saying a lot. Um, because you guys love that dish. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway. Okay. Well, so we'll see you next time. Uh, oh, we are going to do a creme brulee soon. Yeah. So stand oh, yeah. by.